Adventurous Kaz and Cat, so ready to go out and see the world, is stuck here in this place. So let's see if she can find someone to come join her and keep her company at least. Okay, we got an arrival. They're bringing some vegetables. Too bad you didn't come a little sooner, friends. We could have used those vegetables. And we have Katya, reporter. Uh, just so happens that Kaz and Cat really like certain reporters. She would like to meet Linda Ellerby, who I just found out was an anchor person uh, for some news programs. All right, we got some wounded people. So the name of the game here is for Sid to go find some bandages. Unfortunately, none of these locations feature bandages in their special findings, but this one does have meds, and Kaz and Cat is also sick. So Sid is going to go there and take a look around while Ka guards the compound. All right, stairs up. Look for another way. Um, I think she's going to return to and keep going. Closed door. There is a closed door here. So this is something that goes over here. At some point she can... Oh, she doesn't have a... Does she have a lockpick with her? She does. So she could try to open it to add five cards to the deck. I think she will. I don't think we're ever going to get to these doors, probably. So let's see if it works. Nope, it didn't work. So she could try again, I'm assuming, if she... Um, wants to return another exploration card, but she's going to just keep going for now. Rubble. Nope. Oh, so we got to go here. Search the heap. Raise the noise by one, or raise the noise by one and roll for noise. I think she'll raise the noise by one and roll for noise. She's good. Let's search the heap, see what we got. We got a broken guitar, which we already have one of those. A shell and maybe some meds. Let's see what we roll. Five is is that chems. Search the furniture. All right, she is gonna go ahead and just return to because she she feels like she can open this closed door and get some more exploration cards back. So she's gonna return to find the furniture and then reality impact. All right, we got a, a, a rare finding. Draw and resolve one card from the findings deck, furniture chart. This is really bonus. So, some herbal meds, some jewelry, a weapon part, a filter, and something else. I'll roll that off camera. Um, fearing the shelling, the people who lived in this house did not go outside. We can see evidence of that everywhere. After an artillery shell hit their home, they had even plugged the hole with blankets and old ski jackets, which, by the way, look very warm. Truth be told, they look like crap, but they could still serve their purpose. So here I'm actually going to write this on a counter. It says warm clothes 747, because that's, that's an item. It's not just some information that you have. Um, and that's going to be great. It's going to make it so that the cold feels like too less. I don't know why they didn't think to put on more clothes earlier. I don't think clothes are that rare, are they? Like coats and things? I guess maybe. Maybe a lot of people want clothes, but it seems like that should just be an item in the game. And I guess it is. Um, it's just very hard to find. Rolled and got a book, and then I rolled and she opened up this closed door here. So let's get uh, some more furniture. Vegetable herb bandages. Oh, but who's going to get to wear the bandages? They're both wounded. Um, I think she's probably just going to put them on herself, but maybe she'll talk about it. She's a nice, nice fellow. Uh, all right, let me add these things, and we'll continue exploring. She also got some meds, so maybe that'll help her convince Kat to let her use the bandages since she got meds for Kaz and Cat to keep Kaz and Cat from dying. Um, but Or maybe she'll just find more bandages, and it won't even be an issue, right? Let's be positive. Basement entrance. We don't, we do have a basement entrance. Okay, so we can raise the noise by three and roll for the noise. I think we're not gonna do that right now. So we'd much rather not have anyone come and find us. A door, she can raise the noise by one or roll for noise. I think she'll just roll for noise. She's got a few cards left. Whew, all right, that was close, but she gets to go in the door. I think I saw something. Ah! Okay, this is one where she has to kind of Return some cards. She's got a lot of stuff with her, so I don't think she's that concerned. We'll return, I mean, about like exploring longer. She would really love to find some bandages. She'll return three. Is that three? 
yep, three. And so we're going to add three to this, and we want higher than five. We did it. Just, just barely, actually. And then poke about. She can roll for noise to choose one finding from the special finding chart for this location. Uh, you know, she could, she could get some more meds. It seems like that'll be more useful. So anything other than a two or less. And she's okay. She's okay. So we're going to get some meds and head on back. But first, a night raids. It's starving people. Okay, so that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, let's see, does Cat, Cat does have one prowess. She's just gonna use the gun on the starving people. And she got two shots. I think that's gonna be good enough. They start with green tokens. Okay, we'll give her. So there's no wounds. They're gonna take three things. We're gonna give her so, give them some. Doesn't specify expensiveness, so Kat's gonna give up the cigarettes. She doesn't care about cigarettes and a vegetable. There's not really a good way to resolve the quandary of who should get the bandages. I guess they could flip a coin. That actually might be the best way, but they're going with, hey, let's look at how many how much resources we're both using. But then Kat argues, hey, I had all these resources already here. Then Sid argues, I just got this medicine that you needed. And then Cal argues, but you couldn't have done that if I wasn't guarding all of our stuff. Um, it might just come down to a coin flip, but I think Cal is going to let her have the bandages and just kind of go on from there. Let's see what our fate offers us. Okay, raise the illness of all characters who did not take any meds. She took meds, and she's not ill. There's no herbal meds. Okay, cold tokens minus board ups equals four. And then we get to add minus another two because of the warm clothes, so that's good. We're gonna get rid of this schmanker. I think this was the last fake card we got, actually. We got a new location. It's the shelled school. There's bandages there. Great. Resolve weight tokens, we don't have any. Resolve spirit A, no effect. Discard one coffee or raise her misery. We do not have any coffee, so we're going to be raising Sid's misery, and then we get to draw an ending event. Let's go ahead and draw one of these. I've never seen one of these because I've never gotten to this point in the game. Ceasefire. The long-awaited ceasefire has finally was finally agreed upon, putting an end to the fighting in Polgarin. Those who managed to survive the war in Graznavia would never forget it. Okay, so we're going to have one more day after this, and then, it's, then we're just going to go to, to the ending. So if they can survive another day, they're good. All right, great. Um, well, let's, let's do that, okay? I bet you're excited. All right, not a lot for our friends to do. Um, they don't really want to go out and get anybody because that's maybe just handing them points or, or losing them some points. I decided uh, any, anything that's higher than three, each of these like elements other than fatigue that's higher than three, um, will subtract 100 points from them. So Cat, as in Cat, would really like her misery to improve. Um, Sid is going to help with that by repairing the, the guitar. We now have a, a working guitar. Both of them can play a guitar, but they only, um, let's see, yeah. Uh, Sid only wants to play the guitar if her fate is B, and Cat only wants to play the guitar if her <clears throat> fate is C. So we're just going to go ahead and go to the next phase because they only had one action. They did their action. Cat took a nap. And then we'll move on. All right, Sid's going to the Ruin School, which is a new building that popped up last uh, turn because they have bandages. And Cat is still hurt. Now she is helping Cat. Cat let her have the bandages. She doesn't see it. She could try to, like, screw her over right now, but she's not really going to do that. Okay, she can enter through the door or roll for noise. Um, or she'll just she'll just roll for noise. She could raise the noise or roll for noise. Sorry, it's kind of first thing in the morning for me, so I'm not talking very well. Uh, return to the ah, I hate this one. She's got a lot of exploration cards, though. She's not going to risk her life for Kat. I don't know how they got in there. Um... So she's got four. Oh, I probably put it in there and then shuffled it back in. Four plus Sujibirpiti. She's going to just do all five. She's not going to take a risk on it. 
I don't have to roll because it's going to be higher than five. Search the heap. Raise the noise by one and roll for noise. Raise the noise by one and roll for noise. She's going to return to. So she's not going to screw Cat over, but she's not also not going to risk herself if she can help it. Reality and back! All right, so we found this chemistry lab. Um, Sid can't take it back. We could try to hide it and then come back for it, but that, see, it's weight four. That's just too much. Um, Kat could come get it if she was carrying nothing else, but there's not going to be any other turns, so I'm not going to really bother with this, this thing right now, but it's kind of cool that you found a chemistry lab. It would be fun if um, we could use that, but we can't. So that's fine. And I think it was probably a little cheap that I got that reality impact anyway, because that was the card that I didn't properly shuffle in earlier. So it was from the last exploration. So let's keep exploring. Climb up. Um, or, ooh, so she could return three cards, in which case she can't do that. Or she could roll the gray combat die and potentially die herself. She's not going to risk herself for Ka. Um That would be risking her place in the tournament just so that Ka can, like, maybe, like, have a few more points. And Ka's doing fine. So she's just going to come back. Kind of a wash. Nothing, got nothing out of it. Oh, she can't come back yet. We have to do night raids. All right. Starving people again. I did shuffle it. That's just, they got shuffled back in. Okay, so we've got, with these two cards, we can just make it so that does nothing. And let's just go ahead and do our fate. There's nothing really else to add to anybody. Raise the illness of all characters, heal the wounds of all characters who had bandages by one. So that's, she's almost all better. Discard the bandages. I think our, our we're not gonna get any more sick, that's good. We're not gonna bother with locations. We have no weight token spirit A. Unfortunately, that's not the one that um, helps anyone's misery. It does make um, Sid more miserable, but that's also not going to play and have much impact. So we are pretty much done. We have finished this war of mine. Um, if we had been playing by the regular rules, we would not have won the game. Um, Kat and Sid are both going to end with a net positive, uh, and that's that's where we're at. Um, sad news: we didn't never got to go find the journalists to help the kids. Although I guess the war is over now, so by the time all that media stuff would have happened, since each of this these things is a day, so we would have talked to the thing the people. Um, if they had decided to go, the journalists had decided to go cover the kid's plight, it would have still been a few days, I think, before that would have prompted any action. Um, you know, and that's, that's being generous. So, you know, we didn't get to make a difference in their lives directly, but maybe, maybe they had a little hope knowing that Smudge was out there looking around. As for these two, um... I thought they behaved very cordially to each other and thus were able to make it out. But I think the a better lesson to take is if you're going to be in a war zone, it's better to be in a war zone towards the end of a war rather than throughout the war. 